Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. Good morning. Oh, I've been working some with timelines lately. <laughs> it's morning. There's this huge pasture out here and nothing to crop it. No animals out there. And then on the other side, there's this stream of traffic hitting down Route 5, making an unbearable noise. Um, and I was reading Celia Fenton just recently today, this morning in fact, <clears throat> about how as this, the ascension process unfolds <coughs> and as we gain more light quotient in our physical bodies, we start to find unbearable all the noise of the city and uh, the pollution and all that becomes, well, immediately obvious that, that there's something bad happening. Like this noise out here that, of the freeway, the noise that I hear of all those cars going by, let's see, I don't know if that'll be in the picture or not. Uh, it changes my DNA right away, and I start hearing, Claire audiently, I start hearing all kinds of horrible stories, like low-level, dense, sorrowful stories, and so forth. So I, so then I notice that, and then I do my best to get away from the freeway. <laughs> and anything can do it, like it could be, well, bird song is an antidote. <laughs> but anything can, any kind of motor noise, um, it, it's like it's destroying some of the light in my, in my body cells. And I notice immediately the sound of the air conditioner, the sound of the heater, the sound of my car, any kind of electrical noise like a leaf blower outside, an airplane going overhead, uh, a helicopter going overhead, um, a lawnmower. All of those things cause um, cell light degradation, cellular light degra degradation. And so I was interested to, to finally find somebody else that's mentioned this, and that was Celia Fenn. And she was talking about how people, they, they long for a quiet, unpolluted place to live, close to nature, at a certain point in the ascension process. And so that's how it feels for me right now. Just so I let you know, <laughs> we can do a lot to make our cities more bearable, I think, in the future. As more and more people become noise intolerant, and by that I mean completely noise intolerant, I think the cityscape will change like nobody's business. So, a thought to ponder. Y'all have a wonderful day. Talk to you later.